Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, oh, wow. That was the best sleep of my life. I go ahead and brew myself some meat-flavored coffee and make some scrambled goat testicles for Amanda as a peace offering. Uh. She eventually wanders into the kitchen, looking disheveled and perplexed. Uh, good morning, Dad. Um, well, welcome back to the land of the living. <laughs> uh. I thought about what you said last year, and uh, you know you've been in a coma for a year, right? A food-induced coma? What? What? Mm. Yeah, remember that barrel of peanut butter that you ate? Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant keg, sorry, whatever the fuck you called it, I don't know. It, it Yeah, it was a bucket and then a barrel and then, wait, wait, wait what? A year? Yeah. <laughs> good! What? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean good? It's not good to be in a coma for a year, I, Dad. I, I, we weren't sure you were gonna survive. Well, I did. Anyways, you want some uh, scrambled goat testicles? Uh, Dad, those goat testicles are over a year old. They're expired. Huh. You can sprinkle some cheese on them. I guess they'd probably be fine. <laughs> Already did. <laughs> Amanda scarfs down the balls in the time it takes me to wash the year's worth of feces off of my back and ass. All right, Dad. Well, you're looking pretty trim, you know. You lost at least, uh, you know, 20, 30 pounds. Uh, those calories kept you good for that whole coma. I never fed you once. Yeah, well, by the time you see me again, it'll all be back. Oh, boy. Wait, wait. One more thing before you go. Huh? I, I've been out for a year. Does Arby still have meat mountains? Uh, uh, also, what's dad book? You mean child abuse mountains? No, I don't think so, dad. Or you might be able to ask for them or something, and they're, they're like a secret. I don't know. But they're not as, like, popular anymore. I'm not really sure, dad. I don't really keep track of it. If it's not in a meme, I don't know about it. Do people still use dad book, at least? Yeah, yeah, they actually, mostly the Russians. Okay, wait. The Russians? Yeah. Nobody's cared about the Russians for a long time. Hmm? What? You don't know? Oh my god, that's right. You've been in a coma for a year. Yeah, what are Russians? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I have to go to school. Go fuck yourself, okay? I know you know what Russians are. Come Just on! go read a newspaper, dick Make shit. Make me a dad book profile, fuck! <sighs> Amanda spends the next couple hours ranting and raving about online Russian trolls and some other nonsense. She's apparently gotten really political over the past year. She talks a lot about somebody named Brett Kavanaugh and how he reminds her of me. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna fill out all your personal information and dad book's gonna steal it, harvest it, sell it, and do whatever they like with it. Sound good? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh boy. On a Friday night, I'm most likely to... Yeah, definitely torment my children with dad puns. Okay, dad, put... Da yeah. That, and meat that's, mountains. Yeah. Why is there no meat mountain option here? Dad, nobody cares what? about Arby's anymore. It's okay. so fucking stupid. If I had one thing to take with me on a desert island, what would it be? Well... Clearly a meat mountain. You could bring a grill, I guess, so you could grill the meat. That's probably what you mean to say, Dad. No, you dumbass. I can eat anything. I don't need a grill. Dad, can you just answer the question so I can <laughs> fucking get on to school, please? Oh, wow, you're still in school? Did of course I'm still in school. Did you flunk Mr. Ballcutty's class? Well, no, I didn't. You weren't around, so I, no one made me go to school. I just took the year off. All right. What are my turn-ons? Hmm. Definitely not American Dad. God, none of these things turn me on. Oh, Dad, come on, admit it. You're comfortable with crying. Whenever you open the fridge and it's not completely stuffed with meat, you always cry. <laughs> That's so true. All right, yeah. What did you want to be when I grew up? Oh, oh, well, I don't know if I've ever told you this. But I've always wanted to be the president of space. Actually, no, you did tell me that when you were in the insane asylum. Yeah, you told me all about that, Dad. I, I was the president of space for a time. That's true, you were. But then I decided that I wanted to move on. But I'll still put this there. What's your favorite movie genre? Is Brokeback Mountain a genre? Well, I do love Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which is an old comedy that has But it has been. aged well, has. so that's not accurate. Well, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. <laughs> What's my ideal date? N napping sounds fun. Well, you love sleeping, um, but I think you like food more, so obviously- That's true. I would love to have a nice healthy dinner of four buckets of peanut butter at 4 p.m. <laughs> One bucket per p.m. What do you never leave home without? What do I ever leave home without? Well, I do have a sensible cardigan that I uh, have forgotten. Uh, is tucked between my legs. It's to help keep my thighs from rubbing together and forming blisters. Oh, that reminds me. Did you ever take that pickle out? Oh, 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 oh. That's, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. that could be kind of... Wait, I think... has been think, in there for over a year. I think it came out when I shat my pants. Anyways, I have a sensible cardigan tucked between my legs. I spent a lot of time thinking about how proud I am of my child. <laughs> <laughs> What's so oh. funny about that, Dad? I don't get oh. it. Oh, God, that's so funny. I kind of want to put that just to be sarcastic. Do you think people, other dads will get this? Yeah, it's dad book. They're going to get it. They'll think it's funny. 
Profile it's, complete! That's not really funny. Uh, it's pretty funny. That was really mean. Why are, why are you not proud of me? What? Yeah. I've I, done a lot in the last year. You haven't even asked about what I did for the year that you were in a coma. Cool. Well, well, you're gonna run- you, you're gonna be late to school. You better leave. I'm gonna look at profiles all day. Aw, uh, fuck you, Dad. Do I have a job? I don't think I have a job. Dad, if you want to talk to me, message me on Dadbook. I, I don't want to talk to you in person anymore. You're on dad book? Why? Amanda gives me a hug. Give me a hug, you big fat piece of shit. I love you. Now give me your wallet. Bye! <laughs> You've got dads. Ooh. Alright, which dad's profile do I want to look at first? Hmm. Uh, oh. Joseph. You gotta look at Joseph. That Joseph. guy's crazy, dude. Okay. His kids are like fucking Cthulhu monsters. Oh, he does love crushing his kids. Yep, that's true. That's accurate. I'm glad there's something accurate in there. His family's a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait, if that offer is still valid, I have been in a coma for a year. Well, I remember he delayed that uh, grilling out party for two days just waiting for you, that's so. That's true. I have a feeling he's still probably hanging out. All right, well, am I gonna need to like pretend to be religious or something? That sounds lame. I don't know. I can I can imagine them staring at me as I fumble through hymns and stress fart all day long. Also, I say fuck all the time, just like. Well, just add holy in front of it, and then it'll be fine. Oh, and then what? I say damn it a lot. Should I just uh, say god damn it? Yeah. You talking to that big gay priest? Gah! Amanda, how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me like that? How the? Did you get back from school already? What is happening? How did time fly that quickly? Dad, you've probably been on dad book all day. Time just disappears. I literally looked at one person's profile. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been doing a lot of blow. Hey, you got any of that shit for me, bitch? I'm oh, fine. yeah, of course, yeah. Well, I did. I was gonna give you a whole bunch, oh. but this bitch stole it from me. What? Yeah, this dude hamjacked me on the way home. Came right up, stacked the double bag in his big snack, and fucked me around. Oh, God. I lost all the blow. Oh, Dad. Fermi is gonna kill me. He runs the drug cartel in the neighborhood. Dad, I'm- I'm- I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, Dad. Fermi's gonna- he's gonna take me out, Dad, for losing those drugs. Good. I'm glad. This is how I've been living for the past year while you were unconscious from eating too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you turned to drug dealing to make ends meet while I was passed out on my mozzarella well, What the bed? fuck else was I gonna do? You ate all that peanut butter in one day! <laughs> I'm glad you're turning into a real woman now. That would've killed the horse! I don't know how you lived. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? <laughs> hmm. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the dad book screen. Dad, if you want to talk to that flaming blonde monster, you're gonna have to message him. But I've, I've never had friends before, okay? I don't- I don't know what to talk about. Child abuse? Bible- Bibles? All of that stuff, Kayaks. Dad. Kayaks? That's- yeah, that's all that priests talk about. Ugh. Dad, you're overthinking this. Look, just Ugh. go up to him and say, Hey, neighbor, thanks for inviting me to that party over a year ago. <laughs> I'd really love to hang out sometime and anally penetrate you. Whoa, 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 isn't that a little too... business homosexual? Fine, mm -hmm. fine. I just thought you might want to be direct. I mean, nobody cares if you're gay anymore in this day and age. I'm not, I'm not gay. Yeah, when you went to sleep, like, there was still, like, sort of a residual thing about being gay, but now nobody cares. Amanda... I, I don't, yeah, I don't really want to get into that. Amanda honestly. starts babbling and I quickly ignore her. Let's see. Yeah, what you typed is fine. Nice smiley face, dumbass. Almost immediately I receive a response as if Joseph is just on his phone all year waiting to hear back from me. <laughs> uh, huh, he, he doesn't seem at all surprised that I'm alive. Wow. Oh, apparently they're baking treats for their church bake sale today. Wow, that's, that's lucky. Sure. There you go, Dad. Food! Damn! This Joseph really knows the key to my heart. Oh. I respond back. I love food, Emery. <laughs> well, I guess I'm doing this. Save a pot brownie for me. Actually, if you could find me a whole like bag of weed, that might help make up for the stuff that was stolen. Sure, no problem. Hurry, please, because daughter. he will kill me. Also, thank you for not once forcing me to seek medical attention while I was in a coma for a year. You know, did did you like even tell anyone? Did you call any e EMTs or anything? God, no. It'd be too even, embarrassing. Are you kidding? Did you even check my pulse? I mean, I am a teenager. There's no way I was gonna touch you or call anyone or even say anything. So instead you fucking joined a drug cartel and started selling drugs? I did what I had to do to survive, Dad. And Unlike now, you. 
And now a guy named after a very famous physicist is <laughs> trying to kill you? Yeah, his name is Fermi. Wow. Amanda <laughs> stares at me, unblinking. Dad, you don't make promises to Fermi you can't keep. He is the one who knocks, Dad. Oh, and please don't be weird about religion around that psycho priest. He'll probably kill you. And then I'll have to really be a dealing drugs for the rest of my life. What? Me? I can't be killed. Never. I am the Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> I make the short walk over to Joseph's place. It, it feels like torture. My stumpy, atrophied legs feel like jelly. My feet are covered in splinters and shit blisters. <laughs> and it took me three days to get there. I had to eat a homeless man on the way. It was just awful. Now don't be weird, Emery. The door begins to creak open. A shadowy figure is obscured on the other side. <gasps> Who's there? Uh, Emery, Daddy? The door opens the rest of the way. It's Joseph, jo Joseph's eldest. What's his name? Hi. Shit. Oh, uh, God, I think it was Christian? It's Chris, loser. Chris, right. Hi, again, it's, uh, I'm Emery. You remember me from that party a year ago? Your dad and mom made you, like, make out with your sister. Kind of weird. And then they beat your little brother, Crisp, who dressed up like Dobby. <laughs> oh, you mean the Harry Potter reenactment? Yeah. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, yeah, we met there. Yeah, that has the, uh... Oh, oh my God, I'm getting so stressed. No, please, please don't! <laughs> Chris blinked slowly. Maybe he didn't hear that. Somehow. You're fucking gross. <laughs> Before I finish farting, Chris walks into an adjacent room, leaving me in front of the open doorway. Oh, my ass. <laughs> this was a great I first impression. Came out. <laughs> I guess the pickle was still in there. Because it just came out. For a moment, I wonder if I should clean up the rancid year-old pickle covered in shit. Mercifully, Joseph peeks his head around the corner. Joseph, he peeks his head, whatever. It, it's Emery! Hallelujah! Joseph approaches with his arms and nipples wide. He's got extremely wide nipples. That's this nice. is so great! Are you ready to fucking bake a cake? I am not. <laughs> I'm never, never gonna be ready to do that. There's a pickle there on the ground. I had just eaten a homeless man. I really need some sleep. Uh, I'm as ready as I'll ever be, buddy. Let's go do it. That is the kind of confidence I like to see. Do you smell? It smells like shit and pickles. <laughs> what is that? Joseph leads me into a bright, spacious home full of naughty knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Lots of dildos on the walls, porn magazines, fuckable teddy bears, fucking real dolls everywhere. You know how they have like the doors and instead of a door they just have like beads coming down and you like have to walk through the beads? It's like that but with anal beads? Oh, it's great. I believe you met my eldest and stupidest son. <laughs> Chris! Uh, uh, uh -huh. mm. Apologize to the man, you stupid little shit! <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, sorry, sorry, mister. I try to make eye contact with Chris, daring him to look me in the eyes, but he keeps looking away. He must know never to make eye contact with one of his father's friends, lest he get a beating. Next time, be a little bit more inviting to our guests, okay? Even if they do seem to have problems. I mean, this man's been in a coma for a year. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> Chris sees an opening and uh, escapes the wrath of his father and quickly vanishes into his room. Joseph puts his belt back on and turns to me apologetically. Yeah. It's not your fault. He's just the worst. All my children are such little demons. <laughs> I love to whip them. I mean, it's not totally his fault. I did shit a pickle in front of him. Also, we've established at this point that I'm totally cool with your child abuse. So don't apologize. No, anymore. seriously, it's not a problem. I'm so glad that you've done this. It gives me a great excuse to beat the living shit out of the little fucker later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And here's the twins, Christian and Christy. Say hello to Emery Daddy. Hello, hello father. father. Hello, hello Emery, Emery Daddy. Daddy. You little shit fucks. I want more energy. You be nice to our guest or I'll punish you. Punish them? Why is that boy's shorts so short? That's a punishment already. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, do it better, kids. Can you guys say my favorite line from the best movie ever made? The Room. 
Oh, hi, Denny. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the room. The twins stare up in unblinking unison. Oh, oh hi, hi, Denny. Denny. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph covers his mouth and looks away. But he's got a lot of vomit in his hand. Vomit on his cashmere sweater. Mom spaghetti. All right, kids, now say, do you want to go upstairs and have nasty, unchristian anal sex on my wife's bed? Do you, you want to go upstairs, upstairs and have, have nasty, unchristian anal, anal sex on my with wife, my wife's, wife's bed? bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, Joseph really, really liked that one. We're really bonding over the abuse of his kids, who immediately leave the room and start repeating that exact phrase to everyone they meet. My work here is done. I'm gonna be hearing that for weeks. Oh my god, I'll probably go to jail, but it's worth it. So funny. It's like having a- it's like having two parents oh. in your house. It's great. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you're a bit of a rabble rouser, it seems like, huh? Well, you're you're not gonna one up me, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. I know how to get really violent. I especially with kids. I just noticed our shirts are the same oh, color. I'm suddenly interrupted by a loud crash from the kitchen. <laughs> what now? Uh, that's just my daughter. I taught her how to hit herself in the head with the frying pan. <laughs> I better go see if it worked. Just wait here while I go and check, okay? Joseph runs to the kitchen. I remember this with Amanda. Half of fatherhood is trying to convince your kids to kill themselves. And he's got four. It's gonna take a long time. I take a seat on a surprisingly pristine real doll that serves as a couch and twiddle my thumbs. All right, well, I'm gonna examine the coffee table upon which there are several porn magazines. Oh my god, and a bunch of crosses. This one looks a little different. Oh, it's two penises crossed. Smart choice. There's also a brass thing. Looks like a Something a sailor would use while on a long sea voyage when he got lonely. I think they're called sex tants. <clears throat> sex. <laughs> Thinking about sex immediately makes me hungry. So I head to the kitchen, completely forgetting that he told me not to go into the kitchen. I walk into the kitchen and find Joseph holding Christy upside down, shaking her violently. <laughs> I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the twins are a lot more manageable when they're upside down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so where's Christian? Oh, he's in the blender. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh. He's in the brownies. <laughs> no, I'm making him into brownies, seriously. Seeing brownie mix, I dip a spoon into the brownie batter and give it a taste. Ignoring whatever the fuck he's saying. <laughs> I give some to the little girl. She, she, she tries not to eat it, but I force it into her mouth. Eat them all up! Don't let them go to waste! No! No! <laughs> Come on, there's people in Africa starving! <laughs> Don't make me send your brother's brownie corpse to them! No! Oh god! Oh, I don't want to live! <laughs> Joseph adds insult to injury by tickling her with his free hand. I, I don't know how she plans on getting out of his grip. This, this man is a professional child wrangler. Slash torturer. Christy fixed me with her best, please come save me eyes. Hey. Save me from this horrible father! You should duel him. I will duel him. I grab a wooden spoon and point it in Joseph's direction. Unhand her, foul beast! Wink. Oh. Ah, Emery the Valiant. Let's see what you got. I'll grab this spatula with my son's blood still fresh. Uh, son's blood? I... I totally blanked. What, what, why do you? Why does your son's blood on that spatula? Joseph gently puts. Joseph violently throws Christy down behind him. You think you can fuck with me, <laughs> Emery Knight? Knight Daddy? Uh, I like Emery Knight more. Um, I forgot what we were talking about just now. On guard! Man, my short-term memory loss is really, really unfortunate in this situation. We, uh, we mock duel with the two dumbest looking spoons in the room. Eventually, I strike a killing blow in the invisible heart between his arm and his booty. And Joseph recoils in horror. Oh, I am defeated betwixt my buttocks. <laughs> Joyous. <laughs> you could never best me, foul anal king, for I have the power of <laughs> mid-sentence. I stopped to have more brownie batter. That's, some, that's literally the most exercise, exercise I've had in a year. Right there was that little duel. I need the energy. 
Uh, uh, magic, uh, uh, what? This tastes like blood. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, not dead, drags herself up off the floor. My brother! Christy grabs at my leg before making a surprisingly fast exit. It's then that I noticed that there really is a surprising amount of blood, like, everywhere in this kitchen. Huh. Joseph sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tastes it again, face twisting. <laughs> that is way too fucking bloody. <laughs> You're right. Uh, so what was all that screaming I heard from the kitchen before I came in here? <laughs> I was just making sure he was dead. Okay. <laughs> now we're both looking into the batter. I have a feeling Christian has something to do with this. But I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a baker, but I don't think you need much blood in brownies. Yeah, and no, it's really confusing. Look, the, the bag had instructions on it, but that disappeared with my daughter, so I don't remember the recipe, but I thought it called for blood. Like, yeah, probably. It'll probably still taste fine. Yeah, probably. probably. I look up and I notice Joseph has a little spot of nose on his blood. I mean, <laughs> uh, wow, really being in a coma for a year really did some damage to the old brain. I mean, he has a little spot of blood on his nose. Wow, this looks so great! Good job, Emery Dad. You really turned me on the way you baked those sun brownies. His nose! Joseph, hold hold on a second. This is really freaking me out. What? Mm. What? Do you, what? What's the problem? Thumb in position, and... <laughs> Got it! Joseph's <laughs> eyes go wide. Remember that pickle from before? Well, I picked it up and I put it in my pocket and now it's up your butt. You blushing there, Joseph? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, a pickle! Wow! Thanks! No problem. 